Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. Okay, <laughs> too much enthusiasm. Okay. In this video, we are going to be talking about subjects taught in architecture colleges. Now, before starting off with anything, I want to give you all a disclaimer. Uh, I'm first of all making this video since a lot of you guys requested me. I know all the YouTubers say this line, but I have been getting requests for this video and I understand why because when you are getting into a you know, field, you would want to know what kind of subjects that you would you know, encounter. But uh, first of all, the subjects that I will be talking about will be according to my college, which comes under Mumbai University. So if you look forward to get into colleges under Mumbai University, your subjects will be almost same because everybody's approach to the same syllabus is going to be different. So you can have a little things here and there, but it's going to be somewhat the same. Also, if you try to apply in other colleges in India or abroad, uh, I believe the bifurcation that I'll be sharing with you all, that is according to me, is going to be seen almost everywhere. It's just that when you go to the nitty gritties of the subject, it is going to be a little different. So yeah, without further ado, Let's get started. I'm going to be first of all sharing with you all the basic bifurcation of subjects that you would see in any architecture college. Now, this is according to me. Uh, so you can take this as you like. But yeah, I think in most cases, my observation is correct. So the basic bifurcation would have maths, history, design, drawing and construction. Now, uh, maths will be like in my college or in Mumbai University, we call it as theory of structure, which is TOS TOS. And maths is going to be somewhat uh, physics and maths together. It's not going to be as hard as the one that you do for JE. I mean, I'm going to be frank. I'm not good in maths. I hate maths, honestly. So it's a little hard for me here in college. But if you're somebody who's good in maths, like even if you're average, you are going to do good. Yeah, unless you stop studying maths. Yeah, <laughs> then we have history. Obviously, if there's something that has been documented so much in the past and has we have so many examples, you are bound to learn history. And it's not going to be like you study in 10th, like you learn about the independence and you just keep on writing, writing, writing. You also have to write here and you also have to draw here. So drawing the elevation, the prospective sketches or the plans of the buildings and your history syllabus goes from the early humans to what's happening right now. So it's going to be a lot, but don't worry. I don't think history in any college is for all five years. Then we have drawing, obviously, because if you're doing architecture, you will be doing drawing. So you will start from, you know, sketching with your hand, like doing perspective drawings to doing drawings on the CAD or any other software that's taught in your college. And then you have design, obviously, you're studying architecture design. If, if you don't study design, that's stupid. Yeah, so you would have one main project every year. Even when you are in first year and you don't know what to do, you will have a very simple project to start off with. And then construction. Now, how a building is made, you have to learn about that. And uh, what are the nitty gritties, bricks, uh, then beam, column, how that will be done. So you have to learn about that also. So there's this one more part, which is to the architecture subjects that you might have. And these subjects can have different names in different colleges and under different you know boards and stuff. So yeah, that is the basic bifurcation that you can look forward to. Now let's go to the subjects that I had from first to fifth year. I mean, sorry, I'm in fourth year. So I'm going to be sharing you, you guys till fourth year and then also the fifth year that I have got to know from the website. Yeah. Anyways, let's get started. Now, before moving ahead, I have some good news for you all. I'm sure some of you who watch my videos would be in a position where you're deciding between career paths or are confused between two or three or more career options. Well, I have a solution for you if you're stuck in this case. Top Rankers is India's most preferred digital counseling and preparation platform for careers beyond engineering and medicine. They will be organizing a career discovery and decision making workshop on the 21st of January 2023 at 11 a.m. to clear all your career doubts. It is going to be a live interactive session with experts where they'll help you in understanding where your scope of interest lies and eventually help you in finding out about careers that you can take up in the future. You can also unlock six free mock tests from different fields and also get one-on-one -on -one mentorship 
with their career experts. The link to the course is going to be in the description down below. You can also use my code NEON10 to get 10% off on all courses and test series from top rankers. First year, the subjects that I had were Architecture Design Studio, Allied Design Studio, Architectural Building, Construction and Materials, Theory of Design and Structures, Humanities, Environmental Studies, Architecture Representation Detailing, College Projects and Electives. Now, Architecture Design Studio is the main studio that we have where we have the projects that we have to do. Uh, and it's not like first year, so we cannot have our design projects because we don't know a lot. But no, you will have simple projects that are like really simple and they don't expect too much detail. But you can go as crazy as you want. So we had a kiosk design and a bungalow design. Yeah, the kiosk design was really nice. I also made a blog about it, I remember. I'll put it in here somewhere in the link. And I had a bungalow design, but I couldn't really design the bungalow a lot because it was pandemic and we really didn't know how to design. So yeah, that was a lost potential that we had. Then Allied Design Studio, uh, we used to call it basic design in first year. And basic design, as the name suggests, you would learn about basic rules, about basic you know things like color theory, you would make models, you will do shadow study. It's a really fun class. It's just about anything that comes under the roof, like whatever you want to learn, you can. Then there is architecture, building material, construction and material. As the name suggests, it's about construction and material. You learn about bricks mostly in the first year. Then you have theory of design and structures. I hate this subject. It's maths. And actually I was very good in this subject in first year. But after that, the graph goes down. Then you have humanities. That's history basically, as I mentioned before. Environmental studies, we called it EVS. Like it was like EVS, but college level, honestly. Then we have architecture, representation, and detailing. Here you would learn about perspective drawings basically. So you would have these big A1 sheets, A2 sheets, and you would, you know, draft on it. It's as simple as that, but the subject is not simple because I really dreaded this subject in my first year. So we all know how the tables in architecture school is, right? So if you guys don't know, I'll put the photo here. And we had to stand for three hours and draft. And our professors were really strict. Honestly, they weren't, but because we were in first year, we were really scared of them. And uh, I hated that subject because I was very bad at it. And then college projects and electives are almost one on the same. They both will be having one thing to do the whole semester or two or three max. And you just have to get done with it, honestly. Before moving ahead, I want to tell you all this one small thing, that every year we'll have two semesters in architecture college that makes 10 semesters in five years. So the first and the second semester is going to have same subjects, the third and the fourth semester is going to have same subjects. So now the next one that I'm going to be talking about is the subjects that I had in third semester. So the subjects that we had were, again, we had a design studio and a light design studio, which we called interior design in second year. So second year was actually the only year we learned interior design as architecture students. Then we have, again, building and construction, Theory of Design and Structure, that's again maths. And then we have services this year, which is Architecture Building Services. Now, whenever you make a building, you design a building, you also have to think about the services. Services in layman, if I could just explain, it's going to be about pipes, it's going to be about AC vents, it's going to be about HVAC, those things. And uh, although we as architects don't really have to go into the nitty gritties, because we have people who specialize in these things, but you cannot, you know, ignore services because if you don't design in a particular way, according to a certain, you know, certain guidelines that the services can be added properly, then it makes no use of you designing a building. So that is what you learn in this subject. Then you have humanities, that's again history, environmental studies, and then you have representation and detailing. It's again drafting this year by hand. Like in second year, you have drafting by hand. It's from third year, you know, th we actually go to the software. But that happened in my college. It's going to be different for everyone. Then you have architecture theory and college projects. Now, architecture theory is a new subject. It a lot, for a lot of people, it's going to be a little boring because we only talk about theories in architecture, like philosophies. What did this big architect think about when he designed this building or this philosophy of, you know, 
peace and serenity i'm talking anything right now but i hope you can get my point there are many theories in architecture if you go into it architecture theory can be something you can do your masters in i've heard and you basically study about these big architects about how they have been designing about these architecture philosophies that could be your concepts in fifth year so yeah it's all about that our professors in this subject was really nice so i think that was the reason i actually enjoyed this subject now let's talk about subjects that we had in third year now what i'm going to do is i'm only going to be explaining the subjects that are new in this list uh, because i've already explained a uh, few times what the main subjects are so the allied design studio in third year was landscape design for us and uh, landscape design mein as the name mentions you have to learn ki suppose let's take a simplest example you are learning to design a garden why where how you're going to make the path why you're making that path and then uh, what kind of the plants you would select to have in this area do you want a botanical garden oh no you don't want it you just want to treat it like a lawn landscape design is also a master's degree that people take up and it's very famous honestly so you have working drawing which is uh, architecture representation and detailing i guess and in that you will be given a project and you would be making all the drawings that is required and those are the drawings that are actually seen in the fourth year portfolio at least i had put them so yeah that's a little hard subject i had a very bad time because it was really hard for me but for a lot of people it's very easy so i mean i don't know don't be very intimidated now let's talk about subjects that are taught in fourth year i am in fourth year right now hi <laughs> So there are three subjects that I would particularly want to explain. We had town planning. In town planning according to me is a really cool subject because you learn about a life cycle of a city, what terminologies do architects really use when they try to design a city, and if it's something that you are really interested in, I think uh, this subject has a lot of potential to be explored. Then we had professional practice that is very important also because As an architect there are a lot of rules that have been set down for us by the council of architecture and it's very important to know if you happen to start a practice of your own or work as a freelancer you would like to know a few rules here and there so it's helpful for us in the future then for the ard subject that is architecture representation and detailing we had a project where we had to design a residential building but the residential building is going to have constraints because you just cannot design anything on the land there are a lot of rules in that perspective also how much can you design uh, if there is a road that is 6 meter wide and how much uh, land can you actually have for designing i'm i'm not really explaining it a lot but uh, yeah it's going to be a little difficult it was difficult for me actually and uh, again you have to produce drawings and you have a jury for this and for your semester total semester design so these are the two main juries that you have and semester 8 that i am currently in is completely an internship period you have to finish a set of days for your internship and after that you have a jury i guess So yeah, I am waiting for things to unfold in front of me because I'm still in eighth semester. Now let's talk about subjects in fifth year. I am not in fifth year, so I don't really know till what depth these subjects go in. But you can have a look. Uh, the only thing I know is that since semester nine. which is your second last semester you have to start working on your thesis that is in your last semester uh it's a time where you decide a topic and you have to give justification so as to why you're taking that topic and alongside that you also have to do other subjects that course parallelly and in semester 10 you basically have to do those other subjects and also work on your thesis and finally have to present it and then you're graduated yeah <laughs> so this is going to be the uh you know the subjects that are taught in architecture college i've tried to cover as much as i know and if you are also a fellow architecture student and you think i've missed off something so please do tell me in the comments because it will be helpful for everyone who are not in architecture college right now and what kind of videos do you want to watch next do tell me in the comments 
I shall see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.